The Pledge of Allegiance is dumb. And you can tell when you reword it without those fancy old words. This morning, my daughter asked me if I had to do the Pledge of Allegiance when I was younger in school. And I said, well, we did do it. I said, why, do you have to do it? She said, we don't have to. And I said, that's cool. I asked her, do you know what pledge means? And she said, promise. And I said, yeah, it's like a serious promise. And then I said, do you know what allegiance means? And she said, a connection, ah, which is close. Allegiance is a committed loyalty. So if you rephrase pledge of allegiance with words we're more likely to use these days, it's a solemn promise of continued loyalty to the United States of America. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but it's dumb. In a literal sense, a pledge of allegiance is like a marriage vow. And almost no marriages stay together because there was a pledge so long ago. When you're fighting with your spouse, things don't become better because you're like, oh, I remember back in 2003, I promised. No, it's not the promise that makes marriages work. It's the here and now because anything that deserves loyalty, and why would you give your allegiance to anything that doesn't deserve it? If it makes sense to you, and you feel the desire to give it, you just do. You don't have to promise chocolate that you will look around in the nooks and crannies of your kitchen to find it. Therefore, a pledge of allegiance, more clearly, a promise of continued loyalty is unnecessary.